Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals. And um, I am actually kind of late with this. I like to do my casebook on Friday after the stuff is given for the week. Um, but it's Monday, and that's okay. Um, life happens, right? So it's Monday, and I want, oh my goodness, and I want to do. Um, my week one casebook for the new case that we're working on, Who Killed Sherman Black? Or as one of our detectives, uh, Kathy Orlando says, um, the severed hand murder or the severed hand mystery. Okay, so I showed in a previous video my new casebook that I made for this case. Um, quite proud of it. I think it turned out really well. I mean, it's got a few minor flaws but i'm okay with the minor flaws because it's handmade and i wouldn't want it any other way besides like what police detective has a perfect book right not gonna happen okay but i wanted to show you what i got i was so excited okay so um sassy turtle plans who is one of the detectives on the case had posted some pictures of a digi kit and um, this is from Steph's Designs or something like that. I'll link it below. I can't remember. Steph's something. Um, and so she has this whole... Sorry, that doesn't belong. She has this whole um, crime scene kit. That one doesn't belong. Um, that uh, it's $7, I think. Um, but if you use Sassy's code, which is Sassy15, you get 15% off. Um, and so it's got these pretty papers that are like, you know, just all kinds of like grungy or stained paper looking stuff. So there's what, five different ones of that? One, two, three, four, five, yes. And then it's got this, which I don't know, you know, about these so much, but we could cover those with pictures of our actual, like, suspects. And um, so that's pretty awesome. And then it's got the suspect um, labels, and then it's got alibis and lies, medical examiner, victim, victim toxicology. I mean, you can see it here. Um, just lots of stuff there and then it's got these little document holder images um, which I will use as actual like pockets it's got these evidence tags which I love I was I was gonna make some of these and I thought you know this kit's seven bucks I can save myself way more than seven dollars worth of time by just buying her kit and then, like I said, you get 15% off anyway if you use Sassy's code. So why would you spend hours and hours and hours making your own, you know? I'm not going to do it because this is awesome. So I've got those. And then I've got these two pictures of the detective and then confidential classified notes, case number, police badges. It's wonderful. Um, there's fingerprints in both. I think it's supposed to be red and black. It's kind of looking kind of pink to me, but I could be off. There's footprints all over the place. Tire tracks. Um, just all kinds of goodies there. Handprints that look bloody. There's some bullet holes. Um, we have a little magnifying glass. We've got the hand with the knife. We've got the ambulance. Um, the handcuffs, the SWAT team, everything that you could possibly think of that you needed, right here. Got crime scene tape, which I, again, was working on making my own. Um, now, there's, you know, easy ways to do that, but it's part of this kit, and you don't have to do it. Um, you got the classified and the confidential again, and then you've got the single uh, crime scene tapes right there that you can just cut apart. You've got suspect description uh, folders, as well as footprints. I'm not real sure. Oh, those are heels. That's what those are. 
I was like, I don't know what those are. But those are heels. I see it now. <laughs> okay, so I did buy that kit, obviously. I'm gushing about it. But also, she had this little Crime Notes notebook page on there as well. It was $3.50. Now, it's $3.50. It's just the one page. But, again, I got the 15% off by using Sassy's code. And this is kind of a cool little kit, right? And I can make this into a little notebook to go into my... Um, into my bigger uh, case book. And again, it's got all these labels that I can use. Um, just cut them apart and use them. So I'm excited about this, guys. In case you couldn't tell, I'm very excited about this. I also printed out um, a news report, breaking news, um, about the body being found at Angel's Bar and Lounge. Now, I know some of you are probably going Bar and Lounge. It's the name roll with it. Um, and it says, Police and Junk Journal Detectives Investigating the Severed Hand Murder of Sherman Black. I am going to upload this to our Facebook group so that if you want to print it out to put it in your casebook, uh, you're welcome to do so. I'll try and also figure out a way, maybe I can, what I'll do is I'll just put it into the, um, like I'll do a YouTube post like I do um, when I have news I need to give you. And I'll put it in there, and that way you can probably print it from there if you're not on the Facebook group. I'll also try and put it up in the Discord. So if you can't get it one way, maybe you can get it one of the others. Okay, then I have a picture that I made of a body laying on the bar face down um, with a missing hand, which I'm going to use here in a minute. And I've got a severed hand. I had to laugh, Kathy. I had to laugh, um, which I still need to go back and comment. I have watched both of your videos. I have to go back and comment. Um, but uh, Kathy posted that she started down a rabbit hole looking for severed hands, and she's like, gee, thanks, Christy. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. But I do think it's funny. Okay. Oh, I got to get a drink, guys. Just one second. We do have a live Discord scheduled in just a little while, um, which I don't have all the information for them that they're asking for, but we're going to do the Discord anyway. Okay. So what I want to do first is to take this page out, this um, like divider is actually what this is. And I'm going to use this paper to cover it. This is like a uh, cardstock from a paper pack. And if you remember, I used some of that in the Mrs. Worthington case. I've gotten three of the interview transcripts up. But I still have a long way to go on those. A long way to go. Okay. Um, I want to see if I can find something real quick to cover the back of this. And this would be okay. Yep, let's do that. Okay. Also, for those of you who don't know, I love... And I'm sure if you've been around my channel, you've heard me say this a hundred times. But I love these binder style um, books for making journals out of um, because I love how easy they are to remove pages and put pages back and all of that. Um, rearrange things if you need to. Although really you can't if you, you know, if you're doing front and back, you really can't rearrange them. So I guess the way to do that, what I might actually do in this case, now that I'm thinking about it, would be to um, leave the backs blank. So just put like, um, just paper on it. 
and not decorate it. Yes, that would work. It would leave space for like writing and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I need to think about that for a minute because it just occurred to me I could do that. Um, but yeah, so these are my favorite kind of books to use for this and well for journals in general. Um, I like them for journals. I like them for glue books. I like I just like them. And I go to my thrift shops and my bookstores and if I find them, I buy them. You know, my used bookstore, not new. And like with my um, Christmas in July one, it got too full. You know, it already got too chunky and um, it's not going to fit them. So I just took it off, put them on metal rings, and I'll make a cover for them. I mean, it's not a big deal. I like the metal rings too because, same thing, it's easy to um, oops, take off pages and put pages on and all of that. The bonus with metal rings is that if one of them gets damaged, you can just remove it and replace it really easily. Whereas with the books, it's not that simple. If one of them gets damaged, you have to look for a way to fix the ring. So I'm going to print something up, I think, that says something like, Who Killed Sherman Black? and put it on the front of this divider. Oh, you know what, actually? I think I want to um, put... My breaking news announcement on there. I want to do that, but let's ink it up real quick. And like I said, I'm not going to try to rush through this. Um, I expect this video to be long. I'll just try to either pause the video or cut stuff out. And this is how I think I'm going to do them from here on out, is I'm just going to work on it all week. You know, every day I'll work a little more in it. And then that way we can... Can show you the videos on Wednesdays, but you know, you'll see everything from say Wednesday to Tuesday on Wednesday, if that makes sense. I don't know, but anyway. This is my espresso stain. And this little um, I got this little uh, stencil from Timu and it makes great coffee stains. And it wasn't very expensive. I want to say it was like less than $2, but I'll post it below. I'll link it below for you. Because. 
is, yeah. Um, you know, you can buy those coffee stain ones on like Amazon and stuff, but they're a lot more than that. I don't know exactly how much they are, but I know they're more than two dollars. So excuse me, I just have to keep getting drinks because my mouth is so dry. Okay. I'm gonna blow that blow dry this in a minute. But I wanted to get as much of it done as I could first before I did that. Well, I guess let me glue this down first of all. Well, okay. No, I don't think I need to blow dry it. I think it's okay. All right. So now, I think the other thing I was thinking about maybe doing Nope, there wouldn't be room. Alright, so we're going to leave it like that for right now. So this one's okay for now. We're just going to put it in there. I will, I mean, I'll go back and add stuff the entire time. But for right now, we're good. And we're just going to put it on there. This I'm going to leave alone as is because I like the color and the look. Um, so I don't need to cover that at all. So then that brings us to this page. It's going to be like a cover page. This is probably where I'll put the case number, actually, and the police badge. Let's do that. Okay, so let's pull this down. I am going to get... Some heavier cardstock, some heavy cardstock, and I'm going to back this on it and we'll cut around it again. Okay, 
I don't know why I put that up. I knew I wouldn't be done with it. So, that was kind of silly pants. Just a little gesso on it. Right here along the top. Alrighty, and then I think kind of want to um, put I don't know if that's going to look like a thumbprint or not, but we'll see. I kind of blow dry this real quick. All right, 
right, so I think we're going to put that right here as a pocket. And I've got And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece number. I don't have any with numbers except the big ones. I don't want to use the big ones. So, is there a dash? Is there a dash anywhere? We're going to do SB. Four. One. Three. Something to use for a dash. We could use this L on its side. So we could go a dash, right? Um, seven. One. SB 9413-718 is the case number. And I know that doesn't really look like a dash. It looks like an L on its side, but <laughs> we can pretend. Okay. So we're going to put that on there, and then I think we're going to do this confidential. And classified.
think just like that. Okay, so let's put the classified down. I'm going to put this confidential down right here. Guys, I'm about to take a break so I can call my mom. I haven't talked to her in two days, and I just realized how late it's getting. Um, and I'll be going into my live Discord, and um, I won't have a chance to call her, and she's going to start to think something's wrong. So, um... I'm going to take a break for just a minute to call her as soon as I'm done with this page and before we move on. It's going to make a good pocket there. All right, and then Got the little police badge. Although we're not technically police, we are private investigators. You know what? I'm not going to add it because it doesn't make any sense because we're not police. So, is there anything else I want to add there? So right now, I will want to add some stuff up here, I'm sure, but like for this moment, I don't think I do. Um, I can't think of anything right now. So, um, when I come back, we will pull that page back out, and we're going to make our first spread, which is the crime scene, and we'll put that right there. Yeah. So, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so it turned out to be a really good thing I paused when I did because my phone or my camera was dying. So, um, yeah. Changed out the battery. We're all good. And we can move on. So, the pages we've done so far have been really simple. They're nowhere close to done um, because they, you know, they still need a lot and that tends to be the way I work in my casebook is I just do like 
some basic things and then I kind of save it because um, I know that I'm going to be adding a lot more stuff. So, um, so yeah. All that to say that, yeah, I know the pages have been very basic, but there will be a lot of more things and information added as we go. Okay. So here's what I want to do is I want to put these two pages together like this and I want to put him on there. I'm going to glue him down and then I'm going to cut them apart. Yes. It's going to very much put him I think that will be okay. So I'm going to, and I'm trying to decide, maybe I just want to use tape, like double-sided tape. Now, is that going to be perfect? No, absolutely not. But we are going to take it. It will be good enough. We're going to take it. Okay, so now I want to come over here with some of my burnt washi, which is kind of all over the flipping place right now. It went a little short on this end and a little long on that end, but I think it's okay. I just want to decorate it and then we're going to like um, cut it apart. but. I'm going to see if I can't get it all decorated first. Um, so, should I put this like up here? Should I? I've got a lot of liquor items and stuff that I've collected and that some people in the Junk Journals Crafts and More group have graciously and generously sent to me um, so that I could use it for this. And so I've got a lot to work with. A lot of it is put away. I'm going to have to find it and dig it out. But I just need, again, I just need the basics anyway. Okay, I'm going to put the hand here. It's going to be kind of like a belly band that goes on the side like this. So it's going to be a side tuck belly band right there. So we 
it can go right through there. And I kind of feel like I want something there, so I think we're going to use this notes thing. And we're going to make a notes part to go in there. Um, I really want that to fit in there, and it doesn't. It's too large, on it? So I don't know if we'll use it there or not. We might put it up here or something. I'm going to set this to the side for a minute because it's really too big for what I wanted. Um, but I was thinking the hand is missing. And somewhere there is, I think, something that says missing. It does. It says missing person, but that doesn't really matter. We're going to cut out the missing part. Like that. And then we're going to put it there. But before we do, we're going to make it look kind of bloody. I think I have. I used to have. I think I still do. I do. Let me move this because I don't want to mess it up. going to be holding that in place while I blow dry it. So we are going to use the scissors to do that. Or maybe we'll use we'll use the popsicle stick. I think we're going to go like this. Kind of forgot that I was recording. And I was like, all of a sudden I went, oh, wait. I know that there is a um, um, see that will not fit. That will 
will not fit. That will not fit no matter how many times I try. Um, however, there is a Um, let's see, we need like a bloody knife and a gun. They did not find any bullets or shell casings, so I don't need those. don't really know how to represent that he was found sans clothing because I don't have a naked guy to lay on here. <laughs> um, nor would I be showing it on YouTube if I did. <laughs> but um, I don't really know what to do about that, but we'll just have to... Uh, go with we know and that's good enough. How's that? So, got this very annoying fly flying around my room. It's starting to really bug me. Go away, fly, go away. So it's almost time for my Discord. So I will have to pause the video, come back to it later. I also have some schoolwork I need to do tonight. So there will be that going on too. So um, I may very well, you know, not get back to it till tomorrow. Um, you guys may get weeks one and two at the same time in my casebook, which I'm okay with, but um, that just may be what has to happen. It's a little bit enough for such a big old hand, isn't it? It was a bigger one, but I'm just going to go with this one. Okay. Now, um, the 
gun. Oh, and there's a bullet hole. Alright, so I've got the bullet hole. And we're going to put this on his head. I don't really know about this gray. What is that, like gray matter from his brain? I guess it could be. Um, I think it's meant to like, you know, show where it punctures the wall, but, or whatever it punctures, but CNS. It's his head. We're going to go with that brain matter. I know that's really gross. But it's okay. It's a big bullet hole. I mean, that's a seriously big bullet hole. I'm going to use it anyway. I got a teeny tiny knife and a great big bullet hole. lose my glue. Oh, it's right there. So I'm really kind of back and forth on this bullet hole thing, but I figured that if I as a detective was just trying to show where the bullet went into his head, I wouldn't be worried about how big the bullet hole was, right, on my picture. What would matter is where I placed it. So I am going to go for it. So it's really more about representing things than being perfect. It's a casebook. So that's going to be where the bullet is. Okay, I'm going to put that gun right there. Or maybe I'll just toss the gun over here on the ground because we don't know where the gun is. It probably doesn't need to be right by the bullet hole anyway. Of course, we don't know where that knife is either, but it's all right. All right, so I want to put something here that says he was found nude. Um... Kind of feel like I want it right there. I think I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to leave it open and we can make it into a little bit of a tuck right there. Also was thinking, do I want to put like a little person to represent the assailant? And I thought there was a thing over here that said assailant. There it is. It's in the crime notes one. And we can use my Tim Holtz people for that, like we did before. And have an unknown person. So we can put him here.
feel like this is going to be a lot kind of shoved right there and that gun just doesn't look right but it's okay I'll figure out a way to make it work okay everybody I'm back um so I got into that discord and uh <clears throat> we were about a half hour in my husband got real sick and I had to leave so but all is okay and so yeah here we are um so we are just cutting this in half now i did add the caution tape or the uh, crime scene tape and I think I did a couple other things yeah I did this and I kind of like it I kind of like it it's pretty cool okay so let's put in the holes debating on whether I want to sew around this. What do y'all think? Okay guys. I think that's gonna be it for that page. Kind of got a crime scene going on there. Okay. I might should have added like a clock with the time of death, but for right now, I think I'll leave that at that. Um, so. Now, I'm not going to put this next one in there just yet. Because we're going to turn this into the board. These two pages can be the board. So. Um. I have this paper that's got the cork board and so I'm going to use it. This is where we're at on this. We did wind up picking up a little bit of the like map thing up here but we can cover that with something that's not a big deal or not. We can just leave it, whatever. But this is our crime scene board or our crime board. And so we're going to want a picture of our victim. But I don't know what else we're going to want on here yet. Probably a picture of the bar, right? Um, yeah, those are the only two things I can think of at this moment. Maybe the victim's apartment. We have to figure out where he was killed, um, if he was not killed at the bar. So, I may just leave this for right now like this and just not do anything. I really wish that I didn't have him there, you know, like all clothed and stuff, but um, there was just no way to do anything any different. So, okay, well, honestly, I don't know what else to do. Um, so I guess that's going to conclude this video, I guess. I don't know. 
still want to do something with this notes thing though, but not there. I could put it right there. Oh, I could. I could put it right there. Okay. And I just put it right there and turn it into a pocket. Let's go ahead and ink it though. Yep. Let's do it. Alrighty. All right, so now we got a pocket there too. And it looks busy, and that's kind of how I want my casebook to look is busy. Because I feel like casebooks ought to be busy. There's a lot going on. And I know it's just the one page so far that's busy like that, but But my crime scene is busy. So Okay guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more from this channel hit the subscribe button and if you click the little bell it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today and drop me a picture. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.